And now, your first alert weather. Yeah, most of the snow we are expected to get in the Snake River Plain stalled out over those foothills and mountains of southeastern Idaho and far eastern Idaho and working into western Wyoming. Tonight, we're just seeing a few passing hits of snow working through parts of the upper valley, but even then the radar is showing some of that snow retreating still just kind of hanging up there into the foothills and benches of southeastern Idaho and north Utah. Plus, also, we did get a good wallop of snow in areas around Bear Lake, Caribou, and Franklin counties early this morning. And then as you head further to the north and northwest, that snow quickly dying off. But but we are seeing some snow tonight still working into areas, especially like I mentioned around Idaho Falls, Rigby and Rexburg. The radar latest uh, sweep here kind of retreating on some of those snow showers and flurries. And then we still got the rain snow mix moving through here. We're just right under this area of air low pressure, and that's what's continuing to deliver that slow churn of snow, especially over the foothills and mountains. 39 degrees right now. Live look here at the Pocatello Farm Bureau SkyCam from the SkyCam network with winds out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour. We go to Idaho Falls. We've been seeing a few flutters of snow. It's been just lightly snowing out there throughout the afternoon. 34 degrees. Winds currently at the northwest at 7 miles an hour. Still picking up on snow in Rexburg at 34 degrees. Winds at 3. And we're getting hit with some light snow also in Jackson. Doesn't look too snowy in this picture though. 29 degrees and no wind at the airport. Now moving over to the big picture. So the low that's with us tonight is going to move off further to the east for tomorrow. And then we're getting to Thursday and Friday as we're picking up on some moisture and we're working in a cold front from the northwest tomorrow before the cold front gets in here. There's going to be some unsettled weather still in play hit and miss snow showers with a bit of some afternoon rain. Then the cold front sweeping on through as we head into Friday and early Saturday. This cold front's going to drop in some snow. It's also going to bring in some gusty conditions and we're expecting to see temperatures drop down just a touch here for Friday afternoon heading into Saturday. Normal highs, mind you, for this time of the year would be at 50 degrees. That's a normal for Idaho Falls for this day and nowhere near that with temperatures obviously just kind of hanging out around those mid to lower 30s. We expect to see the chance of snow tonight, late tonight, especially in the upper Snake River Plain, getting into the Snake Highlands. More snow working into western Wyoming, hit and miss snow as we get into Thursday. But you'll notice not a lot of snow getting into the Snake River Plain itself. We'll have the hit and miss snow with a little bit of rain tomorrow afternoon as we get to about dinner time here for Thursday. And more isolated, scattered snow showers in here for Thursday night before the cold front arrives for Friday. And you can actually see the pattern change direction just a little bit. We start pulling in that pattern from the west and the northwest as the cold front approaches. I want to show you those winds here. For tomorrow, the winds will be increasing into the teens. Not horribly windy for Thursday, but you'll notice the winds start to pick up just a touch. And then we're picking up on those gustier conditions for Friday as the front's blowing on through. A high of 36 for Lava, 33 in Montpelier, 36 in Preston, lows back into the 20s tonight. We got Swan Valley at 37, 35 for Rexburg and St. Anthony with 37 in Jackson and 35 in Island Park. Areas around eastern Idaho and western Wyoming expecting to take a temperature hit as we head into Friday and Saturday, courtesy of the cold front. Then we're left with a few pockets of wet weather in there for next week. We don't have any major storms next week, just kind of this unsettled weather all the way through about Wednesday of next week. Rexburg a high of 30 for Friday and we'll be in the upper 20s on Saturday with some leftover wind to get us started for the weekend and a chance for some rain and snow. 43 for the high in Salmon, 39 in Chouse and 32 for the high in Mackey with numbers in Salmon looking to get back into those low 30s for Friday and Saturday for highs. So it's going to get cold this Friday and Saturday heading off into the weekend. Uh, moving into next week, temperatures are expected to rebound back to the 40s. For Blackfoot, we'll hit a high of 40 tomorrow with 37 in Idaho Falls and Rigby and 44 for Pocatello. And more of the same, just kind of this dreary forecast where we're seeing the hit and miss snow and at times the wind's really cranking up here for Friday and Saturday with this front. Blackfoot highs will drop to the lower 30s for afternoon temps Friday and Saturday with the gusty winds continuing and lows still swinging back into the teens. Moving over to Pocatello, we got highs here pushing back into those mid to lower 30s for Friday and Saturday for high. So again, a definite drop in the temperatures going well below average for this time of the year for the weekend with overnight lows into the teens and 20s. And Idaho Falls, we are about 37 tomorrow. We're going to drop it down to the upper 20s, low 30s for highs Friday and Saturday afternoon with hit and miss snow, gusty winds and mainly cloud skies sticking around for Sunday and then we have more uh, I would say isolated snow showers next week kind of just sprinkled on in there. Yeah, let's isolate them shall we? <laughs> let's isolate them. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's keep them far away. Them. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I know I've been hearing the groans and the moans and everybody just so, uh. Yeah. Some people uh, are loving it. And, yeah. yeah, my I, brother is. He is just having more fun skiing than enough. Oh, so. I know. And the ski yeah. season's going <laughs> longer and it, yep. the snow machine riders are loving it. They're loving it. You still so. see them gassing up at the gas station yeah. on Saturdays. Yeah, so some people are happy. Yeah. I would like to see a little bit warmer temperatures. I think we're <laughs> ready for that. I do too. Thanks so much, Michael. When we come back, they've become a part of our everyday lives, food and Amazon deliveries. But now, a new warning about people faking deliveries so crimes can be committed. This SkyCam Network, sponsored by 